Guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. Apple has released iOS 17 Beta 4 to all developers today, getting about 1.27 gigabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. On my 14 Pro Max, I installed it. The bill number is 21A5291H, and there are quite a few changes, like on the lock screen area and other areas like that. So let's get started. Alright guys, so on the lock screen, when you press in to customize the lock screen, you guys can now see, instead of having four options for photo filters, we now have ten. So a whole lot more to choose from, which is great. So we have a lot more options to make the lock screen look nicer with filters. So in settings, you'll notice that the icon for home screen app library has now changed. And now show the picture on actual library and home screen icon now. So in settings, when you go to standby, you'll now notice there's a new option called show preview on tap only. It basically says stand back and hide a preview of a notification until you tap on it. And so in settings, when you go to control center, you'll notice that the Apple TV remote icon has now been changed. That also reflects in the control center as well. Guess see the Apple TV remote icon has now changed. It looks more modern now. In settings, when you go to X stability, go to display and text size, You'll notice there's a brand new option on Beta 4 for prefer horizontal text. Since you could prefer the horizontal text in languages that support vertical text. This is not new for Beta 4, but I can confirm that in iOS 17 in general, like altogether, the landscape in the settings app has now been disabled. Apple is now disabling certain apps for landscape. They're only allowing it for a certain app like notes, mail, and messages, and other apps like that. All right, guys, so in the Maps app, and by the way, this is not my current location. This is just an example one. So we tap on a dropped pin. Previously on beta 3, Apple removed the move pin button. Now that has been re-added back in beta 4. Nice. All right, so that is basically it for this video. So this beta was a lot of under the hood changes that were very hard to spot. Like in, like in the lock screen area and stuff like that. So nice. And Apple is also fixing a lot of bugs as well. I'm going to keep an eye on the battery life to see how it performs because I'm not sure yet. The battery life of Beta 3 was great, so I will keep an eye on Beta 4 as well to see how it will perform. So that was pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give a video a thumbs up. Peace out.